Hey guys, make sure you join the Discord. We're actually doing like giveaways like once or twice a month. Like right now, there's a $10 giveaway, and there'll be more in the future. When I get uh, when I get fatality invites, I'll give those away too. So yeah, make sure you join the Discord, and there's also downloads here to everything that I make videos about. So yeah, join the Discord. Hey guys, I'm back with another video, and today I'm going to be doing a video on a new VAC bypass. Uh, the old one, I think it still probably works, but it's starting to like... Uh, Valve is starting to crack down on these bypasses, so I just want to make a video on a new one that I found. It's based off of Daniel's VAC bypass, the original one, but he's this guy's using a different hooking method called like detour hooks or something. I don't know too much about all that, but like it's open source and stuff too, unlike uh, Kitten Popo's. But I will also be including Kitten Popo's VAC bypass in this video at the end, so if you want to use this one instead, it's a little bit easier to use. So anyway, um, to get started, what you're going to want to do is you're going to need a, uh, an injector that has manual map injection. So I'm going to open the injector. And you can see here I can set this to manual map. And you need that for the bypass. But this is a guided hacking injector. You can download it from one of my videos if you want to for free. I made a video on how to do that. So once you have your injector open, what I do is I open Steam. <clears throat> And just so you know, there isn't really too much information on this one, so I could be doing this wrong, but it seems to work, so I'm going to assume that I'm doing it right. And normally with the back bypasses, you would inject from that menu where you just were, but with this one, the only way I've found it works properly is if I'm injecting from within like here. So you select Steam as the process, or you can just type steam.exe. And then you select your DLL, which I just named it this random name. And then you click inject. And you see this. Which then you also select process and then Steam service. And then you inject into Steam service as well. Now you can go back to here and you can press wait. You go back to here and you can press enter. And now you can open your game. And VAC should be bypassed. So now that you've injected, what you can do now is you can use your injector to switch over to CSGO and then you can inject detected cheats and uh, you can use them without getting banned. So I'm, what I'm going to use in this video is I'm going to use Nskin's paste I made over a year ago. And how I know this works, the bypass, is because with this paste, Basically, one major issue with it is you'd have to VM protect it because you'd get VAC authentication errors mid-game in comp. And I'm going to show you in a little bit that I played a whole comp and I didn't get a single authentication error. So yeah, I might also leave the download to this uh, skin changer if you want to use it with the bypass. But I'd only use it with the bypass. Again, I made a video about it a while ago and it's also over a year old without being changed at all. I mean, it still works, but... Yeah, so I'll show some clips from when I was playing MM earlier today with this and the bypass. One more thing I just wanted to mention really quick about this bypass. See, this is the source file for it. You'll know if it's working or not based on this right here. So you see it says success, hook successful. You'll know that if it worked properly, if it says hook successful in that little window that popped up where I press enter. If you get error or no kernel uh, 32 mo module then you know it didn't work properly and I haven't had this error yet so I don't know what you can do about that but again you need a manual map injector it says so on the github for this so yeah see here I have the menu open and I've been playing this entire match like it seems skins I know this menu is like really ugly but I mean I made this, made this over a year ago and I was just testing with stuff so yeah it seems like the back bypass is actually working because um with this version of end skins if you don't VM protect it you'll typically get a back authentication error and I haven't gotten one yet so it seems to be working out I'll, I'll let you guys know if I go in by the end of the match Alright, well I went the entire match without getting an error, so 
seems to be working well and uh, yeah all right so now I'm gonna be showing you how do you see us ghost it also does vac bypass it's simpler to use it does everything for you basically but it is an open source so you you know it could easily be something sketchy I mean I trust kitten popo I think he's you know has a decent reputation right now even though like I don't know but anyway so how you use this CS Ghost is you just double click the EXE and see this is why people like wouldn't want to use this here because I mean yeah it looks pretty sus so as you can see it starts steam for you and it you log in but you notice uh, it says vac bypass here it's also opens your game for you so just wait for your steam to open and then log in then your game will open so now that you're in game what you want to do is you want to alt tab go back to the CS ghost select DLL then you're gonna want to go to where you store DLLs I'm gonna go to where I store mine select your DLL click open and then click continue now that you've done that go back in game and if I press insert you'll see now I have a uh, I've injected properly I'm not gonna show this one in game I already you know like showed the other one they both work this one I've had some people get um, the error where it says your something on your computer is blocking vac but that isn't a ban or anything you just verify integrity of game files and then restart your computer and it will fix that but yeah these both should work the second one is easier to use but it, I mean it looks a lot more suspicious and I just want to say one thing real quick always like like a DLL is always gonna be safer to use in my opinion than an EXE an EXE could do a lot more damage to your computer so in my opinion, I'd rather use a DLL rather than download some EXE from a person I don't trust or know. Because recently we had someone in the Discord get ratted by some random guy who was like offering a movement cheat for free or whatever. And he's like, oh yeah, make a review of my mov movement cheat. And you just like, you get ratted as soon as you double click his EXE. And he tried to rat me as well, but I just didn't trust him. So yeah, don't trust random people. Even on YouTube, there's a lot of people scamming. I've had people like re-uploading my videos recently with the uh, like miners or uh, as in like a Bitcoin miner or um, might have been a rat. But yeah, I took his video down, so hopefully he doesn't continue to upload stuff like that. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you want to download the bypasses, they'll be in the links in the description. Join the Discord if you want. All the downloads will be there too. And if you want this end skins version, I'll probably leave a download to that as well. But again, only use it with a VAC bypass. Or you could try to VM protect it yourself. And uh, maybe that would it would help you against VAC authentication errors. But it could still be detected because again, it's over a year old. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I'd appreciate if you like subscribed and stuff. Hopefully we can get to like 2k pretty soon. I mean, it might be a while, but yeah. I'm going to do live streams soon and I'm probably going to start making legit cheating videos. So if you want to see that, let me know. Alright, well thanks for watching. Yeah.